Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's EcoCast Live webinar for actors. My name is Gary Marsh. I'm the founder and president of Breakdown Services. And I want to thank all of you for joining us today. EcoCast Live was designed specifically to support the casting process and protect the security and privacy of actors. Our goal is that everyone be able to audition anywhere safely. Breakdown Services opened in 1971 to read scripts and create the breakdowns that we hand delivered to agents and managers. In 1996, we launched our first website to allow talent representatives to submit you through breakdownexpress.com. In 2003, we launched Actors Access, allowing actors to control their profile and allow for actors to self-submit. In 2006, we introduced EcoCast to allow casting to capture auditions in their office, as well as the ability to invite actors to self-tape. Now we have created EcoCast Live, allowing you to audition in the virtual room. EcoCast Live makes it easy to audition online. In addition, there is no cost to you. All right, so I'd like to introduce Sean Summerer, our custom, our casting support supervisor. He will be your webinar host today. Sean has been with Breakdown Services for over a decade, providing technical support to casting directors. He has been instrumental in bringing EcoCast Live to life. I'd also like to introduce Blair Hickey, co-founder of Casting About and a successful working actor who will be adding his perspective to today's presentation of EcoCast Live. So let's begin. Here's Breakdown Services, Actors Access, and EcoCast Live. Wonderful, thank you, Gary, for that great introduction. Uh, my name is Sean, and I want to welcome all of you here today. Uh, we are have been blown away by the response and the interest in EcoCast Live. Uh, we literally have thousands of people joining us uh, and have had the same response in the other uh, presentations that we've done in the last few days. Uh, we actually launched EcoCast Live a couple of weeks ago now with the casting directors and showed them how it all worked. And uh, there are many out there that have actually started using it already. And so some of you out there may have already received uh, some invitations to do it. And I uh, appreciate that you're here to learn more about the process and, and see how we can use EcoCast Live uh, to have more opportunities and get back to work uh, in this uh, challenging environment that we're in right now. Uh, and I know I speak for Blair as well in uh, in being very excited to show this to you today. Absolutely. Um, thanks so much, Sean. Uh, very happy and excited to be here. Uh, and I wanna say on behalf of my fellow actors, I'm very proud of us, uh, all of us for showing up. Um, looking at the numbers now, as Sean said, there are thousands in this room and it continues to climb, uh, which I think is fantastic. Uh, I'm excited for everybody to see this. Um, guys, because there are so many people in the room, uh, that means we're not gonna be able to actually take questions during the seminar. Uh, there's just a, a lot of information to get through uh, and too many people. But um, I would encourage all of you to just sit back and relax and listen and watch to what Sean is gonna show you. I've had a sneak peek. It's uh, some fantastic information and I'm sure he's gonna cover most everything you have questions about. Uh, should this end and you still have questions, I know there is a fantastic support team uh, at Actors Access. Matter of fact, it is support at actorsaccess.com. That's the email. And uh, they are standing by to take your questions afterwards. But um, just uh, pay attention. I think a lot of your questions will be answered, and I'm really excited to get into it. Me too. So let's do that. Let's dive right in. Uh, so first and foremost, let's just go over uh, an overview of what we're going to cover today. So you have a bit of an expectation of what we're going to see. Uh, so first, I want to give you a bit of a foundation and an introduction to Breakdown Services and how Actors Access is connected into that entire Breakdown Services ecosystem, how the profile that you create is used throughout the system uh, for all of the users in that. Then I'll we'll introduce you to EcoCast Live and discuss the uh, some of the philosophy behind it and what our goals were in, in creating this new product. And then we'll get into the nuts and bolts and show you how it will work and how you can, uh, how your agent and manager will receive the invitation if they are involved in the process. 
uh, how then uh, you will do the audition itself when you have an Ecocast Live invitation and when you're in the application. And then I'll show you at the end uh, the view of the casting director of an Ecocast Live and what they do afterwards, after they've done the video, recorded the videos and what, how they share that media with their casting team. I think that's valuable information. But first, here it is. Here's Ecocast Live. So this is, for many of you, maybe your first look at what the interface looks like. Um, in the background, you can see that is the casting director view of Ecocast Live. And in the foreground is the actor view. Now you'll notice that the actor view has been mocked up in a phone interface. And that's uh, to reiterate the point that this is a mobile friendly tool that you don't need to download anything. You don't need to download an app. It runs on any device in your browser and just opens and you have your uh, video sharing right there. So uh, it's very easy, very accessible to whatever device you have. You can use it on a phone, you can use it on a computer. And we'll go into all the details of, of these different elements and these different features as we go through this. But I just wanted to give you a chance to uh, absorb it a little bit here before we dive into some of the, uh, the details. Okay, so first, how does this all fit together? What Breakdown Services, as Gary said, has been around for uh, 49 years. And we still have a staff of writers who will read the scripts and write those breakdowns that are then released. Uh, we now do up to about 95% of all the union affiliated projects are released on Breakdown Express and or Actors Access. So that software that we create for the casting directors, for the talent representatives, for you, the actor, for the studio executives, they're, it's all connected and all that data about you, about your profile, about the breakdowns. It's, it's all connected between each other in this ecosystem. One of the best examples of that is Ecocast itself. Um, that is not just the request for self-tapes that you may have received, but it is the entire audition management system that casting directors use. So if there is a request for self-tapes or if they are if we're able, able to go back to doing in-person auditions and they record the auditions live with you in the room, those videos get uploaded into Ecocast and then shared with the producers. Ecocast Live is part of this entire process as well. So everything is integrated and connected. And then the, uh, the link that they share with their producers, directors, studio, network people uh, is connected to your profile on Actors Access. And we'll reiterate that uh, as we go through this. It's all interconnected. I can't say that enough. So one example of that is the submissions that come in for a casting director. So this is maybe a treat for many of you. This is actually what the casting director sees, and this is how they view the submissions that you make. Uh, so you can see that the most important piece of it is that default photo that you choose to submit. Obviously, we're looking at two rows worth, but this is a page of 100 actors. And you can imagine that the casting director is going through this, trying to find and identify the people that they're gonna bring in to audition. And that photo is the hands down the most important piece. Yeah, they can click into the blue icons that appear below the picture and look at the resume or other photos or demo reels and slate shots and the other elements of your profile. Uh, but really is that that photograph, that default photo that is the most important piece. It, Sean, I agree. If I could just jump in for a second, because from an actor's point of view, uh, guys, and I want to say, reiterate what Sean said, is that this is what a casting director sees when submissions come in. Normally, as actors, we don't get to see this. This is like peeking behind the curtain and such a treat for how they go through and choose which actors to invite to an Ecocast Live or to invite to an audition. And like Sean said, if you can imagine this page with 100 actors and then maybe 10 more pages um, and as they go through this. Um, and I think the important thing to take away from this is th this is really your calling card. This is you presenting yourself that the casting director is gonna go through. And often, uh, I've heard this from so many casting directors, it's amazing. They say they'll go through and look at these profiles and if they find somebody they're interested in, they will click on those blue buttons to look at the resume or look at the demo clips or the slate shot or look at other pictures. And they'll often find that the profile is not complete, um, which is frustrating for them and may lose you an opportunity. So I think you're gonna hear Sean say it, but it's a great time to jump in and say, Make sure, guys, your actor's access profile is as complete as good as it can be, because not only is that how they're going to find you, but it's also what they're going to send to the producers. And it's going to be important for your Ecocast Live audition as well. 
Yes, thank you, Blair. Uh, and you can also, did you say this, that the, there's an example here that doesn't even have a photo. Uh, and yes. you can see how that, that jumps out, but not in a good way amongst <laughs> these photographs, um, these submissions. Also, I want to point out that the um, there's a couple here you can see that have a red text that appear below the submission, and that is the submission note. When you make a submission and you put in notes to the casting director, that's where it displays, and that's as much as we have the room to display. Again, because there's a hundred actors here, we don't we can't put a whole paragraph of text right there in front of them. Yeah, they can click it and they can see the the full note that you submit, but keeping those notes short and relevant to the role to that job, to the specific needs uh, for that, that casting director is going to give you more uh, benefit in that submission note. And that's, so that's a, a point of advice that I like to share. So obviously they're gonna go through and they're gonna choose uh, who they like. And they do that by marking the numbers, the one through six circles that you see below the each submission. And you see a number of them, they've all been marked as a particular number. Uh, that is however they want to group and organize and uh, prepare to pre then create schedules or request self tapes from the actors and use those numbers to group and categorize. And that's basically the, the workflow of the actor, or excuse me, of the casting director. So that's just one example of how that actor's access profile is connected to the other users within the breakdown services uh, system. It's that same profile that is used by your talent representative, uh, casting director, but yourself, and then also any studio executives uh, as well. It's the profile that is submitted to those roles. So even if your talent representative is making the submissions, the profile that they're submitting is your actor's access profile. And I think it's important to make that clarification. Additionally, many casting directors have the ability to search the database to find actors under certain criteria, particular skill set that they're looking for. And if you don't have your complete profile, if you don't have those skills filled out, for example, and they're searching for that, they're, you're not gonna come up in the search results and that is a potential missed opportunity. Uh, they can then take the, their results from the search and add them directly to a role and call them in for an audition. So even if you haven't been submitted, this is an opportunity if you make yourself searchable uh, with a complete profile. And then as I mentioned earlier, the, the profile that you have on Actors Access is what is visible to the producers, directors, the studio executives, and everybody else that is uh, being shared to the audition media. So when the casting director puts together their link of auditions and send it on, that is the profile that's tied to that audition. And also an Actors Access profile, I'll say this a few times, but it is free to create and maintain the information in your account. There's no cost for you to keep your Actors Access account active. Okay, so let's shift gears a little bit. Let's talk now about Ecocast Live and what our intentions were behind this. Uh, first and foremost, we wanted to replicate the in-person audition experience as closely as possible, but in a, in a re uh, remote environment. So uh, we have all done self-tapes, I would assume, uh, or experienced that, that type of request. And, and those are good for what they are. They give you a chance. You can do multiple takes and, and you send it off and you're done. Uh, but you may not get any feedback. You don't get that back and forth with the casting director. You can't build the rapport with them. Uh, and so we wanted to create something that would give you that experience uh, from home. So that was a key piece of it. We wanted to make sure you have that live interaction because it's a back and forth. You can talk to them. You can chat about the weather or the project. You can get redirection between the takes. Um, and every recording that is captured within Ecocast Live is secure. It's uh, contained within Breakdown Express uh, and Ecocast. So it's a secure, uh, safe place to store that media to protect the intellectual property. We also wanted it to be integrated fully with Breakdown Express and Actors Access. So what that means is that the audition is sent through the site, your talent representative forwards it to you if it was sent through them. If it's a self-submission, then you will get the invitation direct to your Actors Access account. And then within the system, you will confirm and join that Ecocast Live audition with just the click of a button. And then possibly the most important piece is that it is a secure system, meaning that every invited actor gets a unique link for that audition. It's unique for you, for that audition, for that project, that role. It is one-to-one. -one. And so if a, a friend of yours gets the audition for the same role, it's a different link. You get an audition for a different job or a, a callback for the same job, 
uh, it's a different link. Every one of them is unique and you have to be in Actors Access to verify your identity and make sure that you are the person that's supposed to be uh, joining that audition at that particular time. And Sean, if I could, I think one of the things that I appreciate most about this as an actor is this fact exactly, the fact that it is integrated into a system that I use and my talent reps use every day. In fact, it's already there because for those of you listening, I'm sure many of you have had the same experience I've had where uh, I've had requested either a self-tape where I'm capturing my own footage and then having to compress and upload and find a link and uh, ways to transfer it and dealing with codecs and files that are too large and all that silliness. Um, or if I have to meet a casting director face-to-face, -face, I'm downloading some additional software and signing up for something. Here, you don't have to, and I love that. It is part of the system already, and as we're gonna see soon, um, it is like a click of a button in a system I already use, and suddenly I'm face-to-face -face with a casting director. It's really slick and uh, something I appreciate very, very much as an actor. Uh, so, Sean, thank you. I owe you gifts. Uh, great, thank you, and I will send you my uh, my Amazon wish list. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's uh, let's shift gears and let's show you some of the actual the nuts and bolts here. So, uh, first workflow is if the submission was done by your agent or manager, by your talent representative, then they're going to be getting the invitation to do the EcoCast Live through Breakdown Express. They will then forward that to you on Actors Access. Now, of course, if it is a self submission, then that invitation is going to go direct to you on Actors Access. And then uh, from there, you will confirm or request a reschedule, mark yourself as unavailable, just like you would for any other audition. So let's show, the, show you that workflow. Here it is. This is an invitation to do an EcoCast Live from a talent rep's perspective. And all they need to do to send this information to you is click this blue button, preview and send all. They then can verify the information and click send, and it goes right to your Actors Access account. Now you will also get an email letting you know that you have an audition in your account so you can then log into Actors Access to see it. Now, if you're not yet in Actors Access or if uh, maybe you have an Actors Access profile but isn't properly linked with your representation, then we give them a very easy button here, this orange button to invite you to Actors Access. And all they have to do then is plug in your email address and you will then get an email inviting you to Actors Access. And that's what this is here. Just gives you some basic information about the project, about the role, and then you can click the green button to either create that Actors Access profile or log in with your existing profile so that it can then link up with the, uh, the talent representative's uh, profile that they've been using. And then from that point on, everything is linked up appropriately and any uh, additional EcoCast Live auditions can be forwarded and there's no, no problem or interruption there. My guess, Sean, is that um, a lot of people listening right now uh, have Actors Access profiles, but if um, if anyone out there doesn't, let me just speak to you real quickly if this helps. Um, I hope nobody is uh, intimidated at all by this thought of signing up for something new, because honestly, it could not be easier, as Sean has said. And not only is it easy to sign up, but it is incredibly easy to maintain. I mean, I first got my Actors Access profile with, I don't know, 15 years ago now, and uh, it was so easy to set up. I had my two free pictures for Actors Access, and then I picked up a, a rep, uh, an agent, and had my two free pictures for them. And over the years, I've swapped those pictures out. I've grown my profile. I've upgraded it a few times uh, as my career grew. And it is still now the same profile that my manager is submitting for major projects. Um, so it, not only is it easy, easy to set up, but it is a tool that you will then maintain throughout your career. Uh, very, very simple. And so, you know, if anybody's thinking, oh my gosh, I haven't even started yet, don't worry, incredibly easy to get started and it'll stay with you for forever. Great, thank you, Blair. Yeah, it, it is, it's, it's very minimal information you need to include uh, to get started. Now, the other thing that we're gonna, we suggest strongly is that when you are creating your account, you should create it for yourself. Don't put your manager's email on your account because that's where the notification goes about auditions and you want to be notified about that uh, rather than having to wait for somebody to forward it to you. So put in your own email, your own contact information on your Actors Access account uh, and you'll be much better off. Additionally, this is another benefit of it, is that with Actors Access, that profile is then shared by your representation. So have however many representatives you have, the you could have a 
theatrical, a commercial agent, uh, people on different coasts, you've got a manager thrown in there. Everybody is sharing this information from one actor's access profile. You only have to maintain the one thing and everybody uses that info. Uh, it really makes it easy uh, to maintain it. Uh, but then this is probably the most important piece, as I said before, in order to take part in an Ecocast Live audition, you must be on Actors Access. Again, this is because of the security requirement to make sure that you are the correct person, you are the person that's auditioning at that time for that, that project. And through Actors Access and through you logging into Actors Access, that's how we can verify that identity uh, and, and keep it secure. This is a protection in place to keep, the, keep you safe, to keep the casting director safe, to protect the intellectual property of the studio as well. And so that's why that requirement is there. Okay, so this is what you're probably all waiting for. Let's show you the workflow for you when you get that audition. Now, first and foremost, we wanted to keep this as simple as possible so that you can audition from anywhere. That's why it's a, a mobile-friendly uh, environment and uh, you don't need to download any software. It's just one click from your invitation in Actors Access. And it works on, on like I said, mobile or desktop, uh, really any device that you have and want to try to join with. As long as it opens, uh, it just needs to have a browser. It just needs to open and run in a browser and that's how you join. Uh, we talked about how it's a secure uh, system. So that means invitations are forwarded through the site. Uh, if you have a talent rep, they will forward it to you on Actors Access or if it comes to you directly uh, if from a self-submission. And then again, every unique, every invitation is unique for you, so you can't share it with other people. Um, and again, Actors Access is free to create and maintain your profile, and there is no cost for you to take part in an Ecocast Live audition. Okay, so here we go. Let's show some pictures. The uh, so as I said, you should get an email when you have an audition, and that will then direct you to go to Actors Access to see that audition. So that's the first thing you'll do, go to Actors Access, and there's a member sign-in on the left-hand side, and that will let you log in. Now, once you're in, I do wanna point out that there's these buttons on the left that are quick, easy access to manage the profile, edit your resume, edit the size card, any of that information, this is really fast uh, way to get into it and make sure that that is all current information. But the audition itself is going to come in through Cmail. Now, Cmail is our internal messaging system. It's used by all of the users of Breakdown Services websites, uh, and it allows for cross-communication between those user groups. So it could be a, a message from a casting director, uh, checking your availability, or verifying your union status, or it's a request for a self-tape or an audition notice, uh, any of those things, or an Ecocast Live, as we're talking about today. So you certainly could go into your Cmail and access that particular invitation and, and see it there. But we've made it even easier for you. Uh, in the header, we've added this button that says Ecocast Live. And when you have an Ecocast Live that day, that button will be dark blue as it is here in this image. So you can click that and it will take you to your list of auditions and you can click right in to see the details for that particular Ecocast Live audition. So now this is the, the audition itself, and you see this top section, we've automatically included all the information we have available for the, the breakdown. So top header information, like who the writer and or producer and director is, uh, the storyline, the role information, the role description, is that all there automatically, whether it's forwarded from your talent representative or if it comes direct to you as from a self-submission. And then as we scroll down, where the audition location would traditionally be uh, an address, we've now inserted some tips and some system requirements for the Ecocast Live audition itself. There's also a link there you can copy and paste into your calendar so then you can get some reminders uh, about it if you'd like to do that. Now, I want to talk a little bit about the buttons here at the bottom, the confirm, reschedule, unavailable. So this is your how you respond to that audition. There's, it's very important that you confirm yourself for these auditions. Uh, there's two main reasons for that. First of all, I've talked to a number of casting directors. They need to know when you are going to show up for the audition, that you are going to show up. Uh, I've had people tell me that if it gets to be 24 hours before the audition time, they will remove actors who haven't confirmed and put other actors in their place. So it's important that you let them know that you would plan on attending at that time by clicking that confirm button. Now, the other reason why you need to do that is because, well, it's required. 
In order to join the Ecocast Live, you must confirm the audition. So get in the habit of clicking that confirm. Uh, as soon as you know that you can make it, click it, and then uh, you won't have any issues joining later. Now the other, um, if the, uh, let me mention this, if the talent representative has forwarded to the audition to you and you confirm it, that confirmation goes directly to casting. So they're informed as quickly as possible that you've confirmed it. But the, your talent rep will also get a C-mail letting them know that you have confirmed this audition. So they're, they're informed and in the loop. Now the reschedule and the unavailable work slightly differently, where if you put, choose that and put in a note uh, for when you could make the audition or why they're not available, uh, why you're not available, then that goes back to your talent representative first. They then have an opportunity to um, see what you said, have a conversation with you about, okay, maybe you can rearrange this or that, or, or why aren't you interested in it, or whatever the case is, uh, before that is then forwarded on to the casting director. So they're still connected in that and part of the conversation. Okay, so the day of the audition comes up, and then all you have to do is pull up this audition and click the Join Ecocast Live button, and that will launch you into the session. All right, so here we are. Uh, and again, we've mocked this up in an iPhone uh, setting just to reiterate that it is mobile friendly. But you can certainly use your computer for this, whatever device you're comfortable with, whatever is the most, uh, gives you the strongest, uh, best camera, or whatever it is. Use that device. So. Again, we're trying to replicate the live audition experience. So this first page is the equivalent of you walking down the hall and seeing a sheet of paper taped to the door that says, oh, audition's here for this project. So you can verify you're at the right place and then you click the button to enter the waiting room and that will bring you into the waiting room. Now this is what it looks like in the waiting room where your camera will now turn on and you can get your, your framing correct and uh, you know, that you have good lighting and make sure everything looks good. There have been some questions about being able to use external devices. And the way that Ecocast Live works is it just uses your default camera and microphone uh, for that device. So if you have uh, other devices you would like to use, go into your device's operating system in advance, make sure that that device is set up to use that particular device that you wanna connect in. And then it should work when you launch Ecocast Live. Uh, Fair warning, there are some things that we're seeing with uh, like earbuds in a, in a, uh, on a cell phone will turn off the speakerphone. So you may be able to get better microphone, but you then can't hear the casting director. So it's one of those things you wanna kind of uh, play with, see what devices you have and, and work with it until you find something that, that works for you. When you are all ready and you've got it, uh, you're happy with your framing and everything, then you're gonna toggle this switch to yes. Uh, it starts off as no, so you have plenty of time to get yourself uh, acclimated. But then when you switch that to yes, that will indicate to the casting director that you are ready. And then at that point, you could be called into the audition at any moment. Now, the other thing that can happen, and some cast directors may or may not do this, is they can put you on deck. So you'll see here, it gives you the on deck notification. And uh, you'll, when uh, they can do that before you have made yourself ready. So this is sometimes used as a way to nudge you to get ready because they can't bring you into the room until you've marked yourself as such. So they can put you on deck to say, hey, I wanna bring you in, better get yourself prepared. Um, and so this is a good warning for you. Now, not every casting director is going to do this. It is optional. You could get called in without being put on deck first. So uh, just be aware that could may or may not happen. Okay, so then when you do get called in, you'll have a countdown. A three, two, one, the casting director sees the same countdown, and then you will join uh, into the room with the casting director. Oh, I forgot to mention, now at this point, this is the only time now that the casting director can see and hear you. Up till that point, you, they cannot see you. So everything in the waiting room is just you, making sure that you're happy with how you look. They can't, uh, they can't access their, your audio or video at that point. But now they can. Now we're in the room with them. They, you see that they are center on the screen, so. Uh, at this point, the casting director is acting as your reader, so you can uh, focus in on them, perform with them, and then uh, your video is in the upper right corner. And when they start recording a take, it will indicate for you as well that it is recording. So you see there's a red border that shows on the right-hand side, uh, and then the recording text in the lower right as well. 
And guys, I've had a chance to actually use this already, and I can report it's pretty slick. It works really, really great. One of the things that I like most about it, and I appreciate it as an actor, is the layout, the fact that the casting director is right there, right in the center of the screen, and whether you're using a phone or your laptop or whatever, the casting director is gonna be right there. Uh, the image of myself off to the side, it's not something that's distracting at all, but I can also make sure that I'm in frame, which is great. Um, I know that a lot of actors have been talking about um, the eye lines and where do you look and how are things set up when it's this virtual audition. Um, and what's really great here is I don't think it's all that complicated. It's when you are looking directly at the casting director in the center of the screen, uh, which makes it easy to interact with them during the scene, um, that's naturally sort of pulling your eye off the camera just a little bit, putting your eye line just off camera, which is where you want it. It's great. Um, maybe just a little tip I could throw in there. Uh, when I get that countdown that says three, two, one, and I'm about to see the casting director for the first time, I actually look right down the barrel of the lens. I look right into the camera. So my very first contact with the casting director is direct eye to eye contact. And then once the conversation and the scene starts, I move away from the camera into the center of the screen and I get the great eye line. It's very easy to interact with them. Um, the whole virtual thing kind of goes away and you have a conversation with somebody. It feels like a, a real audition. It works really well. Yeah, great. Blair, thank you for that that uh, that experience. Uh, and also, I do want to point out that this is the first version of Ecocast Live, and we're actively working on additional features. And one of those is that they'll be able to have more uh, people in the room. So often you'll go to a producer read, and there'll be a, an assistant there reading with you, and then the producer's giving redirect in the middle. Um, and so that will be coming soon. And when that happens, whoever's been identified as your reader, that's who will be in the focus in the middle of the screen. So again, we want you to be playing opposite the person that you're reading with. Um, that's the goal. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about some best, best practices. Uh, this is some stuff that we've been, uh, since we've been launching Ecocast Live and things we've identified that I think are good uh, is good advice to share with you in terms of how you should be doing these auditions. First and foremost, make sure you're on a dedicated network. Now you're gonna ask, Sean, what does that mean? What do you mean by dedicated network? So what I mean is it's time to kick the kids off of Fortnite. It's time to tell the husband to stop streaming Netflix. You've gotta get everybody off of your network so that only you are using up your bandwidth. Uh, it is. There's a lot of factors that can control the quality of your video and audio streams in these types of environments. And the biggest factor is your bandwidth. How much uh, data can you transfer at once? And if you can dedicate that to just you, you're gonna get a much better experience than if you're having to share that pipe with everybody else in your household. Now, the other thing is to make sure these are the same, uh, same advice that you would have for a self-tape. And that is to put yourself in a quiet space where you're not going to be interrupted in the middle uh, get good lighting. There's been a lot of talk recently about uh, ring lights that they're relatively inexpensive. You can mount them up. They give you good lighting for your audition. And then as well as a neutral background, something that isn't going to be distracting. The color isn't too loud. Uh, no cluttered bookcases behind you. Things like that. You want it to be very neutral. Now, the other thing is to make sure that you position your device at eye level. This is the same for self tapes as well. Uh, but like if you put your laptop on your desk and then lean over it as you're, you're doing the audition, it, it's an unflattering uh, giant effect that is not, uh, doesn't work well. But if you can get that up high to eye level so you're looking straight at it, you have a much better experience. So put your phone on a tripod if you can, put your computer, stack it on some boxes, whatever you need to do to get it up at eye level and your audition will be uh, much more professional. Additionally, for mobile devices, if you're going to use that, is turn it to landscape. Um, I know we all love to do our, our selfies and uh, our live streams on social media, and we hold our phones up in portrait because it just it's, it looks better uh, for that uh, interface. But for an audition, it needs to replicate television or film experience. So turn it sideways. Landscape is how you should do your auditions. Now, the other thing to do is to make sure in advance, especially with mobile devices, to turn off any notifications or put them in do not disturb mode in advance. So go into your operating system settings and turn those off. You don't want to get a text message or a phone call in the middle of your audition. Uh, it would be obviously distracting. 
And then lastly, uh, the way that our system communicates between the, the users. So the way that the casting director knows that you've marked yourself as ready or the way that you know that you've been put on deck uh, does require some communication between those two devices. And we've discovered that some ad blockers or firewalls could prevent that communication from happening. So if you have ad blockers, uh, we recommend that you disable them during your audition or at a minimum, uh, put actors access as an exception in it um, and you'll have a, a better experience. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, then uh, you probably don't have to worry about it because it means you don't have ad blockers and firewalls. So those are just some things that we've identified and I'm sure that as more and more people do this type of audition, uh, that will identify more things and uh, so just be prepared. Oh, and also the casting director, the individual casting director will likely give you specific instructions that they would like followed. And so always be cognizant of that. They may want a particular uh, uh, situation set up for that, uh, for that audition. And so always listen to that. Speaking of that casting director, let's uh, take a look at the other side of the mirror. Uh, so this is what the EcoCast Live will look like for the casting director. And then I will also want to show you what happens after. So after they've done these auditions, what do they do with them? How do they uh, share that with the producer, network, studio, casting team? Uh, and what, how does that connect back to uh, everything we've been discussing? So here is the casting director view, once again, of EcoCast Live. And there's an actor in the room right now, so that's what's center and taking up the majority of the space on, on the interface. You'll also see that the casting director view is in the upper right, so they can see themselves, make sure they're in frame also. They can go full screen, so there's in the lower right, there's a little uh, icon that brings it to full screen, and that will eliminate the two side panels. And so your video will take up 95% uh, of the screen, and that's really what they focus in on. They're not distracted by anything else going on. Now that column on the left is the list of actors who are scheduled to attend. So uh, it's sorted by the status, so they can see who's in the waiting room, who hasn't checked in yet, who's on deck, et cetera. And they can see who's ready and not ready. So anybody who's ready can be brought into the room, anybody can be put on deck. Um, the order of the actors is by your scheduled audition time. So regardless of when you show up, um, it will be in the order that is scheduled. Now let me also say, that as long as the session is still going, you are not restricted to the time that you are scheduled for. So you can show up early, you can show up late. As long as the session's still going, you'll be able to join. And if casting has it, has room for you, they'll bring you in and, and audition you. Uh, so the, but you, like I said, you're not restricted by the specific time that you're scheduled for. Hey, Sean, if I can jump in, the fact that you actually have a scheduled time, I think, is great because it points towards at least how I'm thinking about this and how I think other actors should think about this, that this is an actual audition. I mean, it should be treated like a real audition. Um, in By that, I think I mean you have an audition time and your responsibility is to show up a few minutes early before that time to check into the room get your thoughts together, get yourself ready. In this case, literally mark yourself as ready and then wait to be called into the room. And in that, it is just like a real audition. And, and I think it should be treated that way. Uh, so when you have an audition time, you know, that's your responsibility to be there a little bit early. Um, also, uh, just to point out, because I know some people had asked, uh, what we're looking at, again, is what a casting director sees. So we can see in that left-hand column, the people waiting, uh, not checked in yet, are in the waiting room. But that is only for the casting director. Uh, the actor view, if you remember, uh, actors cannot see other actors in the waiting room. Uh, no one else will know that you're in the waiting room and you will not see any other actors in the waiting room. Again, this is just for casting directors. Just to clear that up, because I know there were some questions before. Yes, thank you for that clarification, absolutely. Um, so then what happens if once they have done the audition is they have two options. You'll see these buttons in the upper right. One of them, the white one, allows them to send you back to the waiting room. Now this would be used if they uh, have given you a redirect and want to give you a chance to consider it and absorb it. Um, or if maybe they want you to read for a different role. So they're gonna send you back to the waiting room while you go get the sides for the different role and prepare those. So they can do that. Now we'll put you back in the waiting room just as if before you had been called in. It also, automatically at that time switches your status back to not ready. So you have an opportunity then to 
consider the redirect or go get those sides or do whatever you need to do. And then when you are prepared, you spent enough time within reason, you can switch yourself back to ready. And then the casting director can pull you back into the room and continue the audition. They can do that as many times as they need to until they've seen what they need to see. Then they will click the blue button at the top to say done with actor. And that will dismiss you from the audition and you're done. You can move on with your day, prepare for the next audition, whatever it is. Um, the other thing that happens is that when you are when you leave the audition, they'll take you to a page and say thank you for auditioning, and we give you a nice uh, link that takes you right back into Actors Access. And this is a good opportunity to go in once again. I've mentioned this a few times now, but go in and verify that all of your information is up to date. Check your resume, uh, check your your skills. Uh, everything is is current. The reason I say that is because the very next thing that happens after this audition is completed for everybody is the casting director is going to go and compile their choices from the auditions and share that with their casting team, their producer, director, uh, studio people, whoever it is. And when they do that, they create what we call an EcoCast presentation. And that is this. So to give you a sense, this is a link that is sent out uh, to anybody that is part of that casting team. They can then simply click into one of the headshots, see uh, an actor's, uh, click a name, and they will see that actor's audition. And while they're watching that audition, the right-hand column will show them the resume and additional photos from that actor's profile. So again, we've come full circle now to what we talked about at the beginning, how that actor's access profile is connected through the entire process, from you to the talent representative, to the casting director, to the studio, network executives, the producers, directors, everybody that is accessing these auditions can see your actor's access resume and profile information. And that's why it's so important that you keep it up to date and current. Okay, so we've gone over a lot of information. What's next? What you, should you be doing uh, tonight and first thing tomorrow morning? Well, first thing tomorrow, I would say, once our Actors Access support team opens up, is contact them and make sure that you have a current Actors Access account uh, up and running. Maybe it's been a little while since you've logged in uh, and you need to recover your uh, login credentials. So we can help you with that, contact us to assist. Also we want to verify that your email is current on the account. This is how you get notified about those auditions. We send you an email. So you wanna make sure that that's current. It's not going to somebody else, not going to an old email you don't use anymore. Now it's important to, I'll say this, that all of those auditions that come in through your C-mail are available in your Actors Access account. You can just log in and you'll see all those auditions listed. Uh, but the email, to let you know that you have it is obviously an email. And so we gotta make sure that we have the right contact information for you for that. And then also make sure that you are linked to your correct current talent representative so that when they get an audition, they can properly forward it to you and it's all smooth and easy to do. And then from that point, it is just like it has always uh, been. The casting director is going to make their choices from the submissions and create an EcoCast Live audition. They'll send out the invitation for that. If it uh, was submission was done through a talent representative, they will get that invitation and then forward it to you on Actors Access. Or if it was a self-submission, then you will get that the, uh, the invitation direct to Actors Access. And then you pull up that audition, you confirm it, don't forget, and then you'll be able to join uh, that audition straight from one button in your Actors Access account. So there you go, that is EcoCast Live. Uh, I hope we've gotten, uh, we've covered a lot of information. Uh, Blair, any other final thoughts before we wrap up here? Uh, yeah, I think, um, well, first of all, just thank you again for everything here. And you're right, it is a lot of information, uh, which is fantastic for actors. I mean, we've covered everything from what a casting director sees when submissions come in and how it coordinates with your talent rep and logging in and all that stuff. And I think that's incredibly important. I always believe as an actor, the more we know about nuts and bolts of how casting directors and talent are working, uh, the more we can use that information for our own career. But I just, I want to make sure that within all that great information, people are not losing sight of the fact that ultimately this is an incredibly simple system. Um, and I, and guys, if, if you're, you know, scribbling, taking notes or worried about it, I don't want anyone to um, be intimidated by all this info because basically what this boils down to is you're going to get a notification that you have in an audition. And with one click, you're going to confirm. 
and then with another click, you're gonna be in the waiting room where you can say, I'm ready, and then you'll be talking to the casting director. It's really gonna be that simple, and I don't want that to get lost in all the rest of this information. Uh, it's, it's a really nice system. It's gonna let us, I think, get back to work faster, and it's gonna let us concentrate on not the technology of things, but on the most important thing, which is telling our story and working with a casting director. I'm, um, I've, I've been very excited to use it myself, and I'm super excited for all the rest of you to get a chance to do this, which I know is coming soon. Great, wonderful, thank you, Blair. Um, thank you for joining us. And also, I want to uh, let you all know that if you have questions, uh, please reach out to our support team, support at actorsaccess.com uh, is a great way to reach us. Uh, the other thing you can do is when you're logged into Actors Access, there is a help button in the header. That goes to our knowledge base, which is a, a, a repository of support articles and documentation, things you can uh, sift through and find lots of information about using Actors Access, um, and that's a great resource for you that I want to draw your attention to as well. Um, so with that, I will say uh, thank you again for, uh, for joining us uh, on behalf of Gary and Blair, myself and everybody at Breakdown Services and Actors Access. Uh, we are so glad that you joined us and that uh, we're very hopeful that you'll have an opportunity to try out Ecocast Live soon. Um, and that's it. Have a great rest of your evening. Bye now. <laughs>